Hi, I'm Roxy Shahidi. Thank you for joining me for today's class. We're going to be moving through some lovely hip openers, shoulder openers. Um, great for doing after a really long stressful day or if you've been hunched over a desk or if you're just feeling particularly stiff. Um, we'll need a few props for today's class. So we've got a bolster, which you could replace with two cushions. Uh, we've also got a belt. Um, you could use a scarf if you don't have a belt at home. And also, we're going to begin by sitting on a block. Um, again, if you don't have a block, a cushion is absolutely fine. So come into a comfortable seated position. Palms facing up. I'm going to inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Just take the gaze beyond the nose tip. So we take a few breaths here. Settling into your body. Letting go of any to-do list. Letting go of any stresses or strains. Just being present and still. If the mind wanders, just bring the attention back to the breath. On the next exhale, I'm going to turn the palms down on the knees and as we inhale, we're reaching the chest forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together on the back and then as we exhale, we're taking the chest back, the shoulders forward and dropping the chin down. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders squeeze. Exhale, chest back, chin drops, shoulders forward. Just let the hands brush the knees here as we move forward and back. Going to flow here just for a few minutes. Maybe close the eyes once you become comfortable with the movement. Try not to worry too much about whether you're getting it right or not. Tune inward, feel the sensations of the body. Stay connected to that breath. Inhaling, opening up. And exhaling, letting go. Use that ujjayi breath. Maybe allow a gentle smile. Maybe take the pace up a little bit. Feel that warmth and heat building in the back and the shoulders as you start to loosen the muscles, releasing tension. Nice big inhales as you reach forward, opening that chest, creating space for the breath. few more rounds. Mm. 
and just start to slow it down again now. Maybe gently open the eyes. Last two. Palms turn up, lengthen the torso, take a breath. Feel the body, observe any sensations. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And again, inhale, exhale. I'm going to keep working on the thoracic and cervical spine by taking the fingertips to the shoulders. Elbows are at shoulder height. If you want to rotate the feet here as well, that might be good just to keep me nice and comfy. So we're going to inhale and reach the chest forward. And then as we exhale, we're taking the chest back and we're drawing those elbows towards each other. It doesn't matter if they touch. Inhale, opening. Exhale, taking it back. Again, feel free to close your eyes here as you just soften into the rhythm of the movement. It's nice to keep the integrity in the core here. And remember, we're inhaling and opening as we reach forward. We're exhaling and letting go as we take it back. Feel free to take the pace up. Slowing it down. Last two. And one, release. Let's take a breath here in stillness. Exhale through the mouth. Drop back in, feel the body. Observe from the inside out. Keep letting go of any thoughts that rise. Keep bringing the focus back to the breath. I'm going to be working on releasing the neck and all the muscles at the side that get really tense. So we're going to inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop the head completely. Then inhale, roll to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, roll to the left. Exhale, center. Let's flow now. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right, and exhale, center. Just keep flowing now with the rhythm of your breath. Try not to rush this movement. Allow the inhale to really open you up. And as you exhale, release, let go, surrender to the weight of the head. 
It's also important not to push it too much. Respect your edge. You might be particularly stiff today. That's okay. Maybe close the eyes again here. Just to truly relax in to the rhythm. Just a few more rounds. You'll feel that the neck's already becoming more flexible. Feel all the little cricks. Last round. Exhale, drop the head center. Inhale, open the eyes. Exhale, through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Extend the left fingertips. That arm is nice and straight. You should feel a line of energy from the middle finger all the way up into the shoulder. Inhale, torso nice and long. Then exhale, take that right ear towards the right shoulder. Chin ever so slightly tucked in. We'll breathe here for five breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Inhale, five. Exhale. Release the pose. Let's take an inhale center. Exhale through the mouth. We'll do the right side now. Extend the right hand, right fingertips engaged. Feel that line of energy all the way up into the right shoulder. Palm turned up. Inhale, center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Chin slightly tucked in. Breathing for five. Inhale, one. Exhale, inhale two, exhale, inhale three, exhale, inhale four, exhale, Inhale, five. Exhale. Inhale, come to center. Let's take a breath again. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hope you're beginning to feel nice and relaxed. We'll remove our bolster or our cushion now. And then we'll roll over onto the hands. The knees are mat distance apart. The toes touch. Let's walk those hands forward so they're in front of the elbows. And we're going to inhale, look forward. And then exhale, moving back into our child's pose. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, moving 
back. Inhaling forward, drop those hips, allow that bend in the lower back. Exhale, moving back. Inhale. And exhale. Keep flowing here with the rhythm of your breath. And every time the mind wanders, try and bring your focus back to the breath back to the movement in the body, the sensations, staying present. When the mind relaxes, the body relaxes. A few more rounds. Keep dropping those hips. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. Just stay here in your extended child's pose just for three breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale, press the buttocks towards the heels. Lovely. Inhale, coming all the way up. Sit back on the bottom. The option to sit on the block again here, or a cushion. Try and take the left ankle in line with the left knee and then take the right foot in front. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, just clawing forward. And you'll start to feel a lovely deep stretch in that right hip. You can wiggle that right foot around, maybe drawing it back in towards the body or taking it out further. Just explore that and see what feels good for you, but find that nice stretch. And then we'll take five long, deep breaths. Let the head go. And five. Gently walk those hands back in. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side now. So bring that right foot in, left foot out. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk forward. One side might be more flexible than the other. So again, wiggle that right, that left foot around, sorry. See which feels best for you. You can take it forward, you can take it back. Find your edge and then melt down into the pose for five long breaths. Inhale. On the next inhale, just start to walk the hands in. And now we'll take the soles of the feet together. Again, if you're on your block or your cushion, you can stay there. 
So we're going to take the hands, clasping the balls of the feet. Inhale, lengthen upwards. Then exhale, fold forward. Try and keep the torso long as though you're trying to reach the forehead beyond the feet. Take the elbows out to the sides as you work down. So we're not curling in here, we're trying to keep that length. See how that feels in the hips. Breathe deeply. Five, exhale, inhale, coming up. Keep hold of the feet, inhale, lengthening. Then exhale, tuck the elbows in towards the body this time. As you bring the forehead towards the toes, breathe for five breaths. Coming over onto the knees, I'm going to take the knees as wide as feels comfortable. So don't overdo it here, hands on the floor. And then step the feet out so that the ankles are in line with the knee. Oh, maybe walk those knees out a little bit more. Staying here, you should feel a deep stretch in the groin and in the hips. Option to come down onto the forearms if that feels good for you. Now what we tend to do in this pose is roll forward, but just try and take the hips back a bit and you will feel a much deeper stretch. So find that point of resistance, find your edge, don't push beyond it. And let's take some deep, long breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Now try and find some ease within your efforts. So although these sensations might not be comfortable, try and let that go. Try and relax the shoulders, try and relax the face. Maybe have a gentle smile. Take those hips back a little bit more. Just a few more breaths here. Keep finding that ease. And last breath, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Nice. Walk those hands back in and very gently take the feet back in and then the knees in. Lovely. Now we'll come onto our heels. This is where we'll need our belt. I'm going to just open up the shoulders a little bit more. Find that length. Inhale and lift up your belt. Make sure that the belt's just slightly wider than shoulder distance apart. You might find you need it a little bit wider or you might need to take the hands in. But inhale, lift up. And then exhale with the arms straight, take it back. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. We'll repeat this five times. So inhaling up. Exhaling back. Keep the core engaged. Inhale, center. And exhale down. One. Inhale up. Exhale.
exhale back. Inhale up. And exhale down. Two, inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Four. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. And exhale down. Five. This time we're going to take it all the way back and hold for five. So inhale, taking it all the way up. Exhale back. Inhale, one. Two, three, feel that lovely deep stretch, four, and five. Inhale up. And exhale, coming all the way down, lovely. Now for our final pose, we're going to take Shavasana, or Supta Baddha or both. So we're going to use our bolster, we're going to take that into the middle of our mat. sitting directly in front, so the bolster's pressing up against you. We'll bring the feet together. Now, if your hips are particularly stiff, you might want to place a few pillows under the knees. And also, if you suffer from a bad neck, you might want to take your cushion or your block behind you. So just come all the way down, placing your cushion or block underneath the head if you need to. Take the hands in towards the body, palms up. And let's just take a moment to settle in here. Now take your attention to the hips. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, relax the hips. Inhale. And relax the lower back. Relax the middle back and let the shoulders become heavy. This is a wonderful way to gently open the hips, to create space in the chest to relax the shoulders. So we're going to stay here for a few minutes. Or as long as feels comfortable for you. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale,
staying here for as long as feels comfortable to you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope the hips are feeling loose, the shoulders are feeling nice and relaxed, and the mind feels calm and soothed. Please join me again soon. Namaste.